Today on the channel from McFarland Toys and the DC Multiverse, we've got a Black Adam movie figures unboxing. The everyone, Kyle here and welcome back to the channel for another DC Multiverse McFarlane Toys unboxing and review. And today on the channel, from the Black Adam movie, we got a bunch of the Black Adam movie characters. But for all your DC Multiverse needs and a whole lot more, make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10%. Of course, everything over $39 does ship free. And that's exactly what I did for all but one of these figures, as I did get the big Adam Smasher figure from Amazon for for $20. Uh, I checked other sellers and they had a damaged one for sale and I said, I don't want to pay a bunch for these. I want all these on a cheap clearance and that's exactly what I did. So under 20 for this big guy. He does have damage to his package, but I'm opening it anyway. So that does work for me. And of course, Entertainment Earth had some massive sales. Hopefully you got to take care of it or uh, take advantage of it more like it uh, during the holiday season. Hopefully use the discount code because that's exactly what I did. Like Cyclone here, I think I got her for $5.99 plus 10% off. Same thing with Adam Smasher. Got Dr. Fate for like $8 with 10% off. So there were some big deals. And of course, I dabbled in a little bit of Black Adam figures. I did get a Hawkman on clearance at Amazon. I did get the Rock Hooded and Throne Edition uh, previously on the channel. I believe we unboxed those. But I wasn't going to get these, but then I saw the Black Adam movie. I wouldn't say it was life-changing. It's one of those movies, it was good for the hour and a half that I watched it. After that, I'll probably never watch it again. But I was looking as I was doing it, as most of us do, scrolling on my phone, saw the Entertainment Earth uh, sale going on. I said, ah, you know what, maybe I'll pull the trigger. It's exactly what I did. So long story to get there. That's how I ended up having these in my collection. And we're going to do this unboxing and reviews like we do all the other ones. We'll try to go a little faster than normal with all these figures here. But we're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. We're going to go ladies first, as we always do, is we got the old Cyclone here. Oh, I know a thing or two about Cyclone. I'm from Cyclone country. Uh, of course, a proud Iowa State Cyclone uh, graduate. Sure, why not? Sounds good. Sounds good. But there it is, Cyclone. And the one I am the least familiar with, I don't really know her from the comics. Uh, I don't read a ton of DC comics, especially back in my heavy comic reading day. I dabbled, we'll call it with that. So I don't really know Cyclone too much, but of course, we'll find out on her card, I'm sure. But there she is in the package. I like that she's posed in the package. Black Adam down here, Cyclone. Usual suspects on the side of the package, all that stuff. We get a little glamour shot action figure. It's interesting, though, because it's supposed to represent the movie, but it's got a comic book edition. you think you'd almost want a movie still back here, but I guess not. What do I know? Who knows? Who knows? McFarlane, he's always keeping us guessing. It's the way he's always been. He's always been that way. Can I get this out? There it is. See you later. Goodbye. Let's get this card out on Cyclone. So it's interesting. Is this supposed to be a movie figure or is this supposed to be a see you later? See you later. Is this supposed to be a comic edition or is it a tweener? Does it go both ways? I don't know. Of course, we do get a stand with this. The only time we're going to talk about the stand, we get them with these guys too. Same one, DC logo, all that fun stuff. What's it say about Cyclone back here? Maxine Hunkel, after being subjected to nanotechnology experimentation by evil scientists at just 19, Max Maxine Hunkel is a force of nature, literally with the ability to control the wind with her mind. As a superhero cyclone, she brings a social justice attitude and unique power set to the Justice Society. Well, she sounds like a poor girl's version of Storm to me. And I don't know. I may be wrong on that, but that's kind of how I read that. She's got the power. Uh, Storm's got a little bit more powers than her, so we all know who's going to win in a fight. It's going to be Storm for sure. But let's pull her out here. I don't think we did the plastic prison in sake of time. See you later. Twist ties off to the side there. And there it is. And what does she come with? She comes with a little interesting. It's like a whirlwind cyclone stand. It's clear. You can kind of see through it, a little fogginess to it. But not too bad. I don't know how well she's going to stand in here, but I could see others using this. I might even use this for a Storm Marvel Legends figure. Have her standing in here like she's summoning the storm. I might end up doing that. Maybe if I remember, I'll do it for the glamour shots for this video. Uh, but we do get Cyclone here, and she's a little bit messed up. <laughs> Maybe in one way, more ways than one. Who knows? But uh, trying to straighten her out a little bit. Got a little bit of interestingness on her ankle here. No, it doesn't seem to be broken. It's just a little... I don't know what's going on. It's, it's just weird. The, the plastic's a little deformed down there, but it it's apparently works. Oh, it's just sideways. 
So you just need to scoot it around so it was sideways. Now, there we go. Okay. Now we got Cyclone here. I wouldn't say the greatest likeness in the world. It looks like if uh, if you were a person that could touch up figures, you could do wonders with this. You could really bring this out a little bit more. It just seems too plain Jane. You do got the big hairdo here. Nice red colors, different colors in the hair. Looks good, but definitely limits the articulation. You get very little side to side, very little up and down because of all that hair. Nice green costume here. Got a little cyclone on our chest and yellow black vest and then a green shirt throughout. I uh, got an open hand and a fisted hand so she could punch you, she could slap you. Choose your own adventure, which you would prefer. Arms go all the way around. Bicep cut. Double jointed elbows. Got those big pins. Let's get rid of those McFarlane. Hands back and forth side to side. Little bit of waist, not a ton of waist articulation. Big old cyclone splits if you need to do them. She just got the ball joint at the knee there or at the uh, hip there so you get a lot of side to side with that. Double jointed knees, yes she does, and then you get the ball on the feet, just a very, very, we've got plastic kind of breaking off, but it's just, I don't know, a little weird, and then of course the patented McFarlane toe articulation, not exactly sure how she's supposed to stand in here, there's no stand or anything, I guess she just stands in there by herself, yeah, she'll just stand in there if you need her to, and she'll fall out if you need her to as well, but... An interesting accessory for this one. I think I like this more than the actual figure. Don't have a history with the figure. It's not the greatest thing ever. This is one of those ones you put in the back of your display, I think. I, maybe apologies to you Cyclone fans if you are a big Cyclone fan, but it doesn't do a heck of a lot to me. And that's why I can see her going to clearance, as we've seen her on deep clearance at Target as well, uh, if you're paying attention on the figure hunts uh, out there. But will she stand up? She won't even want to stand on the stand, so she's a little bit, a little bit troublesome, this Cyclone. And yeah, there we go. All right, now we move on, and we're going to move on to Dr. Fate. Uh, Dr. Fate, always think of Dr. Fate as kind of like a, a poor man's Dr. Strange, and a lot of you guys are probably the exact opposite there, but I think of Dr. Fate kind of like I think of Dr. Strange. He's almost like the DC version in a lot of ways. Of course, Pierce Bronson playing him in the movie. Uh, but there he is, big window box, got the card, the stand, Black Adam, all that, Dr. Doctor Fate, Black Adam. And then once again, you get the comic book background on him. So that's a little interesting. And I still can't figure that out, especially when it's a movie figure. It should have some of that kind of stuff going on. But there it is, see you later. Oh, we got a flight stand with him. So we don't get the typical stand, we get an actual flight stand, which isn't a bad gig either because uh, obviously a lot of us like flight stands and you can use these with other toy lines. You want to use this with Marvel Legends, you can do that. You can use it with kind of whatever you want. Choose your own flight stand adventure. So that is a nice little uh, added bonus here. Uh, we can get him out of the package. Up high. See you later. Uh, what's it say about old Dr. Fate? Real name, Kent Nelson. Upon wearing the ancient alien golden helmet of fate, Kent Nelson transforms from the kindly academic into a mystical sorcerer. One of the founding members of the Justice Society, Dr. Fate is able to forego all emotion to envision future outcomes. Conjure... Conjure terrifying illusions and bewitch his opponents with power that outmatches even the power of the gods. So we do get that. We do get a nice stand here. You plug this in together very, uh oh, very easily, I want to say. But uh, there we go. It slides right in. Pop. There we go. And there you go. You got that. So these do get a little loose over time. I have a Superman in these, but they do start off very tight. There's also a peg stand on these and a DC logo. Nice to see all that. And then we get Dr. Fate deep in the plastic prison. Of course, he does got his cape. It is cape season after all. Uh, no boundaries. DC characters, Marvel characters, wrestling characters, Star Wars, Lando Calrissian. Heck, even me. We all celebrate cape season. It's uh, one of those uh, holidays that brings it all together. Uh, it's going to be a national holiday, a worldwide holiday before you know it. There it is. See you later. Goodbye. And then we get Dr. Fate, and I believe there's multiple Dr. Fates in the DC multiverse. I gotta be honest, I think I do prefer the comic, more comic accurate one to this movie one. But boy, this is a very clean looking figure. It's got nice gold and black, really the only colors on this, but a very, very regal-like, almost Roman gladiator-like uh, figure here, but looks really, really nice. Would have been great to have a Pierce Brosnan head to go with this, but obviously it was probably financials, that didn't happen. But as we saw in the movie, he carried the helmet around a lot of times, and we saw just his face. But this is just going to be straight up Dr. Fate here, and I guess he'll stand on a on a stand here, a flight stand. But nice gold and black attack, got a nice texture to him. Definitely looks very clean, very sleek. Got a nice uh, cape on here, got the gold on the back and the black on the outside. Nice uh, sculpting into the cape here, all kinds of like, almost like hieroglyphics is what it looks like. Obviously, probably alien technology, alien words, things like that per the card. Got the big Roman gladiator type helmet going on. 
You get a little side to side, not really much up and down. You can see his ears out the side, or at least one side. That's the only uh, human skin you're going to see on this entire figure is just that one ear. Uh, articulation, exact same as Cyclone. Does got the uh, kind of overlay from the cape that holds it in. Does limit some of that articulation. You got to move the arms out, but besides that, the articulation is just going to be the exact same for Dr. Fate as it was for Cyclone. Good, not great. Like I said, I prefer the comic look to Dr. Fate to the movie look. Oh, Cyclone! Oh no, Cyclone! You will be missed. You probably didn't see that Cyclone coming, but Dr. Fate will fit right there. I'll grab Cyclone, put her off to the side, Cyclone and around. But Dr. Fate, I prefer him over Cyclone. I'll, I'll give it that much for sure. But now we turn our attention over to a guy that smashes some atoms. His name is Atom Smasher. And the cool thing about this Atom Smasher is he is one of those guys that can grow. Whenever I think of growing characters, I think of Apocalypse. I think of Maul from the Wildcats. Now I think of Atom Smasher here. And as a kid, thinking about how I played and how I enjoyed my action figures, I would have been all in on both of these. I would have loved having this guy grow in my fig fed. Okay, he's going to turn into a giant. I would pull him behind my back and I'd bring this one out. I mean, that's what I would do. So that is pretty cool playability wise uh, for this Atom Smasher. But we'll take a look at both. Basically, it almost looks like a two up of Atom Smasher. It's going to be the same figure, just a different size. So uh, this will be pretty fast between these two, I think. But we've got Black Atom, Atom Smasher, usual stuff, Black Atom on the side. Uh, on the back, we get a more comic edition there. So I guess, theoretically, this could be a comic edition, uh, depending what you want. I guess you can blend it into either or, uh, if you are so inclined. I'll pull this out. Some of these cardboard fights you trying to get it out. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. See you later. We're going to walk to the other side that way. Oh, uh, can I get the card out? I'm, I'm a, quite the card collector. See you later with my DC figures. Up high, over the top, see you later. DC stand we've seen before. What's it say about our friend Adam Smasher? Real name Albert Julian Rothstein. Julian, how about Julian? Julian? Eh, why not? Julian Rothstein. As one of the newest recruits of the Justice Society, 20 year old Al Rothstein can transform his molecular structure to grow to towering heights and alter his density to become the superhero Adam Smasher. What he lacks in experience, Adam Smasher makes up for with brute force in an endless well of youthful optimism. And that's what you gotta keep. You always gotta keep that youthful optimism. I know it's hard sometimes, I get it, I've been there. Uh, but you try to keep that in there. You gotta be positive for the rest of your associates out there. You don't let anybody else see you sweat over in the business world, pro tip out there. You gotta be in the line and then people that look up to you, you gotta you know show the way. Don't let them see you sweat, see you later. Uh, so there you go. So now we get Adam Smasher out of the package. He actually, actually gets extra hands. We don't see extra hands with DC Multiverse figures a whole lot. We do get him here. We do get a gripping hand, or I guess a flayed out hand and a fist. The exact opposite of what he has on him. So you can choose your own adventure. To me, I'll make them different from these. That'll give them another point of difference. I'm all about the points of differences, as you guys know. But then we get Adam Smasher right here in the package, out of the package. A little bit warped in the leg department. We see that with McFarlane sometimes. He's got a little bit of warpage there. Uh, but a good-looking suit here, almost like a... Uh, I don't know, I almost say Deadpool-like suit, but uh, an all-over body suit that is skin tight, looks really good, very interesting colors with the blue, uh, the kind of leather belt color, and then the red, uh, looks really, really nice, got the Adam logo right on the front, that's the best thing to call it, got a nice mask, nice superhero mask, got the white eyes, uh, but very much stands out on a shelf, this one will stand out, very cool colors, uh, articulation, same as Cyclone, all over the place, you get a bicep cut, arms are not hindered by anything, you get a little of the butterfly action as well, hands of course going to be removable, hula hoop at the top, uh, very little waist, you can do those big old Atom Smasher splits, he's got a little bit of a greasiness to him, I will say that, he does got a sculpted in knee pads, they're not an overlay, but they are sculpted in, nice kind of uh, scientific cowboy boots is what these look like to me, got a nice zipper on the front sculpted in of course got the toe articulation uh but not a bad figure it's uh, of course the little version and i think it'd be really cool to have these on display you have him in front you have the big guy behind him i think that's the way to do that does he fit on the dc mcfarland stand well what do you know it's like he was made to fit on there and that's exactly what he does now we turn our attention over to the big dog here, the one I got for around 20 I think it was a hair less than $20. Same figure, just a little plussed up. 
there is the damage. You can see it was ripped at the very top there. But like I said, no big deal to me. I can get this guy half off, and uh, not, I'm going to open him anyway, so that just definitely works. There is the big uh, evil guy, the devil. What is it, like, Sir Socrubus, Circubus? I, I don't know, but I need to pick him up. That is a really cool heavy look, metal looking figure. It reminds me of the devil in the pick of Destiny. Destiny, easy for me to say, with Tenacious D, if you've ever seen that movie. Oh, I'm an old school D fan. I used to go see the Tenacious D in like the 90s when they played to nobody. Uh, now they're huge, just huge. So, uh, love the D, love the D. So there you go, <laughs> love the D. Uh, we're gonna pull him out. Same back packaging, same pretty much everything on here. Uh, so, yeah, it is what it is. It'll be interesting if the card is going to be the exact same. It sure does look to be that way. Big old box here. Goodbye. See you later. You wouldn't believe the pile of boxes. I've got like a week's worth here. I've just been lazy. Haven't got around to it. I've been busy. Been snapping with work. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to get, pull a dumpster down here and pull all this stuff off. But let's see if I can get this guy out without destroying the card. Will it be the exact same card? What's your guess? Call Vegas. See you later. I'm going to guess it probably is. There is the stand. And off to the side. See you later. Adam Smasher. Yep. What do you know? It's the exact same card. I got doubles. I got doubles. How about that? Uh, big old Adam Smasher in the package. Ready to smash some Adams is what he's going to do. I'm going to unlock him here. He's very easy to get out. I do appreciate that. He's got some tape over his hand. That's an interesting go-to-market strategy on that side. So he's got tape on one side and then locked in on the other. I don't know if they ran out of locks. Who knows? Well, let's see. Can I get him out of the package? There we go. There we go, maybe. Jeez. Apologies for the noise. See you later up high. Over the top. We got twist ties all over the place. Slide those off. And let's look at this big giant Atom Smasher. Man, it is the exact same figure, just plussed up. That's all it is. Uh, but it works in this case. It's getting the most out of your molds in a totally different way because we do know most toys, especially back in the day, I don't think so much anymore with computers aiding and stuff, but what they used to do is they would sculpt these figures. They would sculpt them big. They would get approvals. They'd check off on them and everything and say, okay, shrink them down. We're off to the races. That's what they would do back in the day. That's why we see so many two-ups from different toy lines uh, you know, that are out there on the secondary market, things like that. And then in this new day and age, a lot of this is all digital sculpted. It's taken away some of the... Some some of the extraness for some of that, but it is a really cool thing. Uh, the history of figures, you know, the LJN wrestling figures is a perfect example. They brought those in as kind of a two up to say, here's what we want to do wrestling figures. And uh, the creators, the LJN uh, big wigs at LJN, they said, let's just release them like this. So they were originally made to be two ups, they were going to shrink down. Nope, they said, let's roll with these big old rubber figures. And I think that's really cool they did that. And that's one of those cool stories of what could have happened. But this guy looks pretty good. Like I said, exact same everything. It's just all plussed up. So there's no differences here. Just very, very cool. But you kind of get that effect right here. Of It looks like he's growing. It almost reminds me of the comic book cover of Bruce Banner with the Incredible Hulk behind him. You can kind of set one of those kind of scenes up here as he's growing. It'd be cool to get another bigger one. And you can kind of just have him really growing. Have some effect pieces, some glow-in-the-dark stuff around him. You could really set the scene, I think, if you did that. But he's a big guy. Does he fit on this little stand? I would imagine he will. And what do you know? Fits right there on him. Got to get him just right, though, to stand up. As he is a little bit bigger figure, of course. But he does look good right there. Got Dr. Fate. Stick him in the middle. Cyclone, she's been a, a pest. Doesn't want to stand. Uh, we'll see if we can get her. But, oh, there it is. Got her standing there. Of course, I did mention I did unbox Hawkman on the channel a while back. So we got Hawkman, one of the, the favorites. My dad's favorite superhero, of course, is Hawkman. And then, of course, I do have Black Adam. I did get the one with the throne. I've been using that throne for Serpentor, but it is a good enough figure. But I prefer this hooded one. This one looks better, looks meaner, looks bigger. Just a very cool murder's row. And I'm sure there's still deals to be had just because the holidays are over. I'm sure you go to Targets, Walmarts, Entertainment Earth, places like that. You could probably get some of these guys still fairly cheap. Just need that big devil-looking guy, but I haven't seen any deals on him. If you see one, point it in my direction. Uh, but I do like the looks of this for what it is. And gosh, what did I pay for this entire... I know I paid 20 for him. I think I paid 9 Let's see, 9 We'll call it 15 We'll call it 35 40 
50, 60. I think I paid around $60 for this entire thing here. That isn't a bad price in this day and age. Heck, the new Marvel Legends Spider-Man's $35 by himself, and he's much smaller than any of these guys. So I felt like for around 60 bucks, this is a pretty good deal here. Representing the movie, which was so-so, I agree, but it was worth uh, watching one time for me. That's how I justify it there. Uh, but not a bad Murder's Row from the Black Adam movie, and of course DC Multiverse, Todd McFarlane. But what say you guys out there? You picking up? You passing? You playing the long game? You got that pesky devil? Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far. You might as well like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. We got videos every single day and then some. And you can get early access to videos like these on the Patreon channel, of course. You also get monthly Q&As, monthly giveaways, bonus content, and best of all, you do support the channel. You can also support the channel over at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And then don't forget to hit me up and follow along over on social media. Sir Paul 64 on Twitter. Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for the Black Adam Movie Wave, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.